All right, what do I got in here? Two swing aligned devices, lower body, upper body. The body is the engine of the golf swing and understanding how to use it properly is gonna give you big gains in distance, consistency, and your quality ball striking. A lot of my students feel like they can't turn enough going back, they say it's old age or they're too tight, but a lot of times it's because they're not using the lower body correctly. Let's talk about how this device can really show you and enable you to use that lower body and make a nice full turn. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up, you're gonna try to make sure that the upper swing line and the lower swing line are straight and parallel, and same thing with the line on the ground. As you go back, you're gonna try to make sure your upper body outturns your lower body, but you still wanna make a big turn with your hips. The more you turn your hips, guess what? The more you can turn your shoulders. If I try to keep my hips still and turn my shoulders back, that's about as far as I can go. That's what I see with a lot of players at home, is that as they go back, they can't let their lower body rotate enough or they are not not aware of it enough. And being aware of how your lower half turns is gonna make a big impact on how much body rotation you have. Now, one big element in the golf swing is the separation of the upper and lower, not only going back, but also in the transition. So that coil, that X factor stretch, if you will, that has a lot to do with the sequencing coming down and what we call the kinematic sequence, which is the order in which everything moves down. So once I'm at the top, a great exercise is to try to feel like the lower body is gonna kinda go while the upper body stays passive for a second. From there, then your lower body and upper body can sync up a little bit more, and you can practice going to impact. But you wanna feel like there's a little bit of a period of time in that transition where that upper body is passive, that lower body starts to go. You're gonna look at the lower rod, try to get that to go, while keeping the upper rod in the same place. For all of you over the top players, players that are out of sequence, starting with the arms, this is absolutely perfect. A great drill is to go all the way back, Make a nice full turn with your hips and shoulders, and try to keep the shoulders pretty passive as you shift and unwind. One, two, three, reset up. Try to feel that same transition after you've set up when there's a ball. And this is something you can get yourself. It's not something that you can only use in lessons. I love my students buying these, practicing with these, because it gives me a lot of trust and faith that they're gonna get better in between lessons, and it does a lot of my work for them when I'm not around. Swing the line's the best, check it out. Swing Align is a swing trainer you can use anywhere to learn alignment, rotation, and connection. Visit swingtrainer.com to order your Swing Align risk-free today. That's swingtrainer.com.